This is the Terion TRLX02 LED light, and I'm going to submerge it in water. Stay tuned. Let's go ahead and go back to the shop and let's tear this down. And I'll give you the specs, the rundown, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to go out tonight and take some, uh, some more uh, video shots without and with the LED light and see what it, what it does for your filming. This is a Canon M50, by the way. Back to my messy uh, workshop table. Look at that. It's a little sneak peek of my next uh, review. Uh oh I'm kind of brand loyal. Another Terion. Another one. This might be my number one favorite. My first time ever owning a slider. Anyways, this is, I don't want to give out too much info, but it'll be on my next video. And then I also got to do, seems kind of foolish. I never thought I'd be doing a review on wallpaper. This is Amazon wallpaper. And I don't know if this is going to go on here or here just to break, break this all up. But I really thought this would be darker. So another video for that. First thing we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to tear this down and then show you. I already opened up the box, of course, because I've used it for several days. Show you what's in there. I think you guys know how to open a darn box. And then I got my U.S. Postal Service scale. Let's get a true weight on this little mighty beast. Unscrew it from the uh, cold shoe mount. This adapter comes with this, by the way. So just, just a reminder, but we're going to go ahead and all you have to do is loose, loosen this. I love it. And you can adjust where it, where it drops down you can that turns i love it go ahead and unscrew that All right. with both of them attached let's see what the weight is this is an ounces so that's 7.0 ounces and while we're at it let's go ahead and take off the adapter there you go. look how little this thing is i think it's 50 millimeters by 45 not sure link will be down in, the info will be down in the description just to make sure 4.8 ounces. There you go. True weight right there. Pulled out my second scale. Let's go ahead and weigh it. This one says 4.8. What do you get in the box? So, of course, you get the uh, the LX02, the adapter. That's what the inside of the box looks like. There's a, That's just a, uh, says it's been uh, checked, inspection card comes with a diffuser quick note on this when you do buy this because you're, you're going to want this it's so small and lightweight and waterproof by the way it comes with a, i thought this was just one diffuser and so if you pull it apart like this you're going to crack the corners so in fact my son is the one that showed me dad and goes you're doing it wrong you're going to crack the corners these magnets are really powerful so what you want to do is just give them a twist pull them Twist them away from each other. There you go. So it comes with two diffusers. Let's put them together like that. Because if you if you try and pull them apart and they might slam, you might crack the corners and break them. So, anyways, of course it comes with the uh, instruction manual. It comes with uh, twelve colored gels. I don't know if I'll use these, but and they're separated by white paper. It comes with. I'll show you one of them. Well, let's, let's show you all of them. Different colors. It's 12 of them. There you go. Great price, folks. Great price. Comes with a uh, USB charger. You can see right there, that's what it looks like. I would have preferred a, uh, I would have preferred a Type C. I have a One Plus, and just I think Type C. Maybe down the road they'll redo this to a Type C. I just think Type C is much sturdier. Here it is. Really small, I and mean, you saw the weight. Now. I you know, this is marketed as an LED on camera light, but just think about the possibilities where you, can, you could use these for a, a, a hair light, backlight, uh, some effects in the back. 
because this does have strobe and I'm, I'm gonna go through that and show you you got a couple of quarter inch mounts you got one here this is the top on the side here there's one there another one there and another one there up close and while I have you up close let's go ahead and sh I'll show you how the uh, the diffusers work remember turn them away from each other so you don't damage them there you go so to turn it on all you have to do is press this button on top here this there you go it has uh, four levels 25 basically it goes by up it goes by quarter so 25 50 75 and 100 percent let's go ahead and turn off my light here I got a fluorescent light in the garage this is 25 percent see and then uh, 50 percent see that this this thing is bright that's 75 percent a hundred look at that that is wow and then you have one more there's the strobe and then if you press it again we're back to 25 percent really bright that's just 25 percent all right let's let's go ahead and try this diffuser out this amber diffuser you can see you can hear how powerful those little magnets are that's what it looks like might be hard to tell maybe I got to turn the uh, light off again but anyways gives it a little amber tone let's go ahead and keep the light off there's that amber color it's hard to tell with this brown uh, tabletop There we go back to white. Okay, let's go ahead and put on this other diffuser, the frost. You can hear how powerful that those little magnets are. But this is the uh, diffuser, the frost. Let's just shine it right at. Let's go ahead and put it on all the way high. Focus. I'm focusing on the quarter there. Then I'm gonna take it off. Wow. Okay, much brighter. All right, how to turn it off, just hold down the button on top. There you go. This has a built-in lithium battery. The capacity is uh, 1600 ma. Has a COB bulb, uh, of course one. Maximum power is eight watts. Input voltage and current, five volts, one A, five volts, 2.1 A. The beam angle is 120 degrees. The battery working time is about 50 minutes under 100%. So I assume that's at 50%. And then 12 hours if you're under 25%. So that it's waterproof to 20 meters, which is 65 feet. We're going to test that out. I'm going to dunk mine. I paid for this, by the way. This is not sent to me. I paid for this, Amazon verified. I'm gonna dump this in water for about five minutes. If you're new to my channel, I do everything on my phone. Of course, I have the new Canon, but the Canon is in the video. And so I do not have Wi-Fi. I live out in the country. The download from my camera through cell service is just really, really slow. And so, and plus I don't wanna make this video too long. So, but that's the, uh, the finale. I'm going to time this just to give you some peace of mind, just in case you're interested about buying this, that it is what it is, what they say it is, waterproof. Looks well built. I'm very happy. This is my third Tarion product. Really well made. Pretty impressed. This is the uh, USB charging port right here, and it has a gasket around here. Let's go ahead and take it off. You can use a screwdriver, standard screwdriver, or if you like me, just a quarter. There it is. And here's the uh, cover, and as you can see, let's see if I can get this in focus. There's a uh, gasket around it, 
So make just make sure when you do open this up and secure it, make sure there's no uh, dirt around it to might break that seal. Same thing with the inside, make sure it's clean. But there's the uh, charging port. While we have that open, let me show you what it looks like when you plug it in. If it needs charge, if it needs charging, this will light up red. It'll turn red if it does. Yeah, it needs a little bit of a charge. All right, folks, there we go. It's fully charged. You know, forgot to mention it at the beginning. This is all metal. All aluminum. All metal, except for the glass. All right, and I got my little uh, Presto timer at five minutes. Hopefully that, I'll go ahead and zoom in once we're done here, but let's do this. I'm gonna do it, so if this fails, I wasted the money, not you. I'll turn the light on, hold the button down, it's on, it works, go through the uh, different modes. Okay, turning it off. Here we go, now or never. I'm more, I'm more worried about spilling water on my counter. I have electronics on the counter. Do I have enough water? As long as I can cover it. There it is. All right. See you in five minutes. I'm going to go get a drink. All right, folks, that's it. Go ahead and turn that off. Five minutes test. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it out, leave it in front of the camera. I wanna dump this water. Let's let it sit here. Dump the water before I spill it everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and just wipe it down. Make sure it's fully dry before I open it up. I don't wanna mess up the test by opening it and there's water around the seal here and I per accidentally get water in there. So let's make sure it's so I'm gonna make sure it's fully dry. Okay. Let's see if it turns on. Moment of truth. Still got some water on there, but oh well. That's on the outside of the metal casing. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> awesome. There you go, it works. Go through the modes. There you go. That's uh, what, 50 percent? 75 there's a hundred, and then you have flashing. There's so many things you can do with this. All right, folks, we're gonna go outside. Just wanna show you my setup really quick. There it is. We're gonna go outside with no light. Autofocus is gonna have a big time, big issue uh, trying to focus in on me in the dark. Uh, the Canon M50 is not the best in low light. And so, of course, we're going to turn on the Terion. You can see a big difference. The autofocus will kick in. And you can actually, we can actually use this camera in the dark. And it's about 920 at night, by the way. It's pitch black out there. My security light will probably turn on. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and switch over. All right. Should be able to hear me. The autofocus is still working. This is no light. My security lights will turn on. As I step on, see there's a security light. It's dark, except for the lights in some of the neighbors' houses. So you guys can't even see me now, and I'm only about 30 feet away from my front driveway from the garage. 
so this is about useless autofocus is not working let's go ahead and just go ahead and turn the light on now whoa and this is only 25 percent what a big difference here I am in the dark vlogging and this is only 25 percent look at that I have no issues with the uh, autofocus it's right square on my face you just got to work the angle so I'm not getting blinded okay this is 25 percent let's go ahead and try 50 percent Wow works great everything around me is dark 75 percent I'm having trouble seeing my LCD screen unless I angle the uh, the light down so it's not right into right in my eyeglasses so I hope this helps out if you're uh, thinking about buying a good light this works great let's go ahead and put it out on 100 percent that's 100 percent I do have the light angled down so it doesn't blind me works great in the dark folks I'll have the link down in the description and try a uh, strobe that's a strobe hope I don't have a seizure or something well that's it folks if you found this uh, video informative please give it a like check out the rest of my videos if you find it interesting please give it a sub I'd appreciate it you guys have a good day bye bye